let's look at this. Unresponsive 70-year-old male <clears throat> was found on the tiled floor of his bathroom. His clothing is wet and you smell urine. You do not observe chest rise or feel a pulse. His skin is cyanotic. His hands and feet are cold to the touch. His abdomen is warm. You should suspect. And the correct answer is choice B, like boy, cardiac arrest and begin chest compressions. Severe hypothermia, but attaching the AED uh, in this case, um, we don't have indications of severe hypothermia. He's laying on a wet floor. Yeah, it's going to be cold, and he's in the tile. You don't see any chest rise. He's cyanotic. His hands and feet are cold to the touch, but his core is warm. So that's severe hypothermia is ruled out. A choice C is saying you should suspect death. Well, AEDs don't show death, right? If you say he's dead, you wouldn't attach the AED and analyze his rhythm. There's really no way to look at the rhythm on most AEDs, and an EMT wouldn't necessarily do a rhythm analysis anyways. ALS could certainly use the monitor. D is moderate hypothermia and ventilate him. The problem being is without a pulse, circulation is the first choice. So that rules out ventilate him. So if we're looking at signs of obvious death, one of the things that people uh, generally have in their protocols is significant dependent lividity. Now, lividity is when blood settles in the low spots, usually where the, the body is in contact with the ground. So if they're on their back, their back, whatever part of their arm is on the ground, um, they'll be what starts as kind of a modeling color, M-O-T-T-L, not modeling, mottling, that'll follow by a darkening of the skin. And it's that darkening of the skin that says they've been dead for a certain amount of time. You're generally looking to have that in about 30 minutes or more for that to start. That's dependent lividity. Rigor mortis might also go. Laying in a cold the thing. Now, this 78-year-old guy, his hands and feet might always be cold. So what do we do? With a warm core on a cold ground, we say this is cardiac arrest. Let's begin chest compressions. It's not death. Um, it's not severe hypothermia because his core is warm. And it's the modern hypothermia, well, maybe, but ventilating him isn't the answer either. The correct choice is B. I call this a sorted out question. You have to sort it out. You have to look and say, all right, is this guy dead or not? And if he's not dead, I've got to resuscitate him. And you look at all the parts of it and you look at the choices. I and mean, even if you don't get that right, the other choices don't make sense based on what you see. So choice B, as in boy, is the correct answer here.